How to use CJ dropshipping with Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually do this. So if this video was helpful, then please do let me know in the comments. Well, let's get started. So obviously for this, you need Shopify and also CJ dropshipping. Now I have a direct link in the description, which will bring you over to this page. Now clicking on that link via my description will also help me out. So please do that. And once you are here, you can actually create an account. So you can do that on the top right corner. It's actually very easy to do, just a matter of seconds. Then once you actually have an account, you want to go to my CJ. And once you are here, this is basically your dashboard. And once you are here in the dashboard, you can actually go to store authorization. Here you can see Shopify right at the top. So if you click on there, it says you haven't authorized any stores yet. Simply click on add store. And then here it says by clicking authorize, you'll be directed to the app page in Shopify where you should click add app. So click on authorize. And there you go. We are currently in the um, app store. So you simply want to add this app uh, just like this. And now you have to install it. So click on there and we have it installed. So first you have to click on um, uh, please read and agree the store authorization. So uh, enable that, click on authorize. And there you go. Authorization success. CJ will help you make drop shipping business much easier. Now we have connected it to Shopify. Now, if you would like to have your first three months of Shopify for only $1 per month, then you can actually click on the link in the description of this video. This will bring you over to this page. As you can see, start for free, then enjoy $1 per month for three months. So you can actually try Shopify for free for three days. And then after that, you can actually have that $1 per month. This will also help me out greatly. So why not? Now, how can we actually use this though? And how can we actually connect and list products? Well, super easy. Simply go back to the main page. You can, for example, search for stuff or um, select anything you would like to. So let's say I were to go to bags and shoes and then, for example, to um, men boots. Then over here, let's just select a random product just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, this one, for example. Then how can we actually connect it? Well, over here, you have a couple of different options. So here you have connect. Now connect, you should click on there if you already have this product in your Shopify, but it's not yet connected with CJ Dropshipping. Now listing will do that for you. So this will add it to your Shopify products and also connect it directly. So I'll just click on there. But before, you actually have to check out the shipping method. So you have a bunch of different methods. And here you can actually see the total shipping costs and the delivery times. So you should decide on which one you would like to use. For example, this one is only four to nine days. So that's very, very fast. Although in this one, the shipping is like $10 more than the, uh, than the cheapest one. But for example, on some other projects, let me just show you real quick. Like usually like very um, small products uh, or like very cheap products, for example, this mouse, then that's actually very nice to do. So if you check this out, you can see that the to total shipping cost is four ninety six, seven to fifteen days, and then this one is actually eight a six eighty six. It's only two bucks more, but it's actually way faster. So keep on the lookout for that. But let's say I were to add this product. Simply click on list right over here, and then this will um, add all the colors and all the sizes that are actually available for this. And here you have to select ship from. Well, there is not an, another option for this one, but for some products, you are also able to ship it from the United States warehouse. So here, select your shipping method. So let's say I were to choose the very fast one. Um, that is that one, but you can see your, the shipping is a lot. So I'll just leave it on the first one. Um, then product type, I'll just add a new product type and I'll also add a new vendor. And then here is the prices. So here you can actually see the total drip shop drop shipping cost. So um, that is how expensive all of these will be. You can actually click on recommend listing price. So this will recommend it for you. As you can see, this is uh, how it would look like. But if you are not happy with that, 
you can actually make it do a custom price. So obviously it's a little bit weird that like technically that prices change depending on the size, like normally in a shop that isn't the case. So I recommend for this one to just put them all on, for example, $59.99, for example. And if you are happy with that, simply click on list it now. So it says listing in progress. You may check the listing status in on listing. List of products can be managed in listed. So if you click on there, and it currently says uh, pending, and this may take a couple of seconds or minutes, I'm not actually sure, but um, once this is done, I'll show you. It says listing succeeded, then we can actually go back to our Shopify store, then hit products, and there you go. So here they are, and um, it will automatically do everything for you, the description, title, um, media, and all of the sizing and whatnot. So that's actually very nice. This is how it would look like. So you can also change the uh, title if you would like to. Now, if you would like to receive more images, because you know, these images look very nice, but you actually don't really know if they actually look like this in real life, what you can do is go back and um, request some photos or videos, and they will send you photos and videos like of the in-hand product, how it will actually look like. So you know how it will look like, of course. But um, yeah, that's basically it. So I hope this video helped you out. Uh, please leave a like and let me know in the comments. And then I'll see you next time.